Hey there YouTubers, unboxing video time. So this is a water cooler, 280 millimeter. Just a quick story on it. I had a little issue with uh, my i7-13700K as far as keeping it cool goes. I am hopeful that this water cooler will make a difference. Even though I honestly don't have that much hope. When I say keeping it cool, running uh, Cinebench... R23 thermal throttling and all that good stuff, right? Uh, by adjusting the power limits. So, if uh, this happens to do the trick, I'll be impressed. I'd like to someday be able to actually overclock that uh, CPU. So, I uh, misplaced the box cutter, but I think we'll be okay here. Now this uh, this brand has been suggested a couple times by people. So we have had some other Arctic products, but uh, I don't buy a lot of water coolers on this channel. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Pretty much an air only kind of guy here, though we have a couple of times done those on the channel but uh, maybe three times right including building our own uh, loop so this is the Arctic uh, liquid freezer 2 280 RGB I want to say I picked this up for $109 might have been uh, one of the cheaper hopefully better brands that was available on Amazon there's different variations of this one so if 280 doesn't work for the i7-13700K, we'll have to try 360, right? Uh, this should have 240 millimeter fans, which I think in a lot of my cases is going to fit better. Custom RGB, and includes an RGB controller. Six-year warranty. Hopefully we won't need it. Here's all the softwares it's compatible with. So we will be using this with MSI on a Z690 Pro. I also have a Gigabyte motherboard, the Eris, coming. So one of these two hopefully will work. So you see they added the LGA 1700 sticker, which means they slipped that kit in. It's also uh, 1200, so 1151 AM4. Uh, nothing on this side. And we'll just check this side real quick. Um, yeah, I can't read that. Can you guys read that? All right. Well, never mind the uh, instructions. So, Liquid Freezer 2, 280 RGB. Let's get it open. And it looks like a bunch of accessories. So, that top box was probably the kit for uh, 1700. Let's look at this stuff first. I will do an installation video. Uh, I say we'll do an installation video. I'm going to uh, eventually do a real installation video. I'm just going to, I think in the beginning, to show you guys me putting it into a... Uh, hooking up to a computer so you can see that aspect. Alright, so we have the what looks to be the controller here. Uh, hopefully there's a battery or something in here. RGB controller. I have to read the directions on how this thing works. Um, so all your connections here, and so it looks like you will uh, hook this up via, huh? Interesting. Let me see something here for a second, folks. All right, so uh, SATA power, and then you'll have all these connections off of this. So where I was thinking this was uh, a remote control, <laughs> it's not. Um, this appears to be another adapter cable, and that should be... Uh, so your USB 2.0, you're going to have to give one up on your motherboard. 
to connect this right in here it would appear okay so I always uh, I hate to give up USB 2.0 slot on the motherboard now the kits how nice is this folks here's your LGA 1700 kit so the back plate and then it will use uh, the standoffs it looks like you've got a few nuts in here or excuse me standoffs and four screws I'll leave that in there now the other bag let's see what's in this bag folks so this will have uh, this has another backing plate And that should be your Intel backing plate. Uh, thing of Arctic MX5. So one of these is just terrible. I want to say it is the MX5. I love, I think it's MX4 that I actually like. And the 5 I don't. But uh, we'll check that to the side. We'll probably use something else. A uh, bunch of your mounting brackets. So, this, the LGA 1700 kit has a bracket. This is a mixture of uh, AMD, it would appear, and your uh, LGA 1200. Associated screws, standoffs. Uh, looks like also some screws for your fan potentially in here. Uh, these aren't rubber, so I'm not sure what those guys are for. Here's some other standoffs. These kind of look like the ones you would find on an, a Noctua mount, which is uh, what we have over there. So a lot of parts. These parts may never get used on the channel. Unless I hook this up to... Uh, I'm trying to think of what I would hook this up to, folks. I'm actually selling a lot of my CPUs off. I thought I would... I would hold on to them for a long time, but to, you know, really do a 12th and 13th gen justice, we've had to dump some stuff. Um, I don't know, some of the graphics cards might be next, to be honest with you. Who needs, you know, 40 graphics cards? Uh, I say that. To do gaming videos properly, you kind of need them, right? So I'm trying to make sure the box doesn't have anything extra in it before we uh, move on. And it looks like there's just a low layer of foam underneath there. All right, let's get this out so we can take a look at it. Hopefully, we won't damage anything. So. You may have noticed with the 13th gen, as far as the i5 goes, we have a bunch of CPU coolers that can handle the i5. Uh, it's this i7-13700K, and if I were to get an i9, that uh, we, we currently don't have anything that will allow us to do benchmarks and keep that happy. Um, So you can see the, uh, there's your RGB, all right, and if you wanted to uh, add something, okay, this, so this isn't ARGB, this is RGB. Um, if you wanted to add to it, you've got this. You know, I, I, I think like 90% of the stuff I have uses... Um, uses ARGB. Four pin connector here and this guy will uh, hook up on your motherboard as well as this guy. Now let's take a look at this. Get a little more light. 
All right, so the fans, this is the intake side of the fan, all right? So you are going to uh, push um, cooler air over the uh, radiators here. Now the real question is, of course this is inside your, uh, this will be inside your case, so as long as your graphics card's not throwing out a lot of heat. And there's the radiator. This is screwed on both sides. Um, I don't really know. This is the, you know, the setup that I'm used to pretty much, right? Something like so. Um, it is, it does have screw holes on it on both sides. I've never thought about an additional fan and potentially you could set this up differently where uh, the fans are on the other side sucking uh, sucking the heat out hopefully instead of pushing it but um, unlike some of that uh, so if you guys saw the pro siphon that I had Kind of looks like this design except with four fans on it um and of course it's it's dielectric not water cooled but um this looks to be pretty good quality folks i i look forward to using it and hopefully uh we'll have some success thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe thank you